So I'm about to show you, Mugs, what you got to do when you want to extend your visa when you're in Thailand after the 30 days have expired, which is hell. You're going to be here anywhere from five to eight hours, possibly. I was there six and a half hours, which is more than I initially thought. You're going to sit around. You're going to come straight. This is step one. Don't skip it. A lot of people go to different places, but here, right here. To the left, I'm going to put an arrow there, is where you go first, right there where those guys are going. You give them your passport, and you give them uh, your money. You're gonna, they're going to ask for your money, and then they're going to take copies of it. Then you take those copies with you, and you walk all this. Don't go here. Some people will waste time here, minutes, maybe you're an hour, sitting there waiting for someone. That's This is the end right here. This is the end. Once you're here... You're basically good to go. You'll wait about an hour and a half once you're there. Um, so you keep going. You pass all these folks. Don't waste your time asking anyone where to go or none of that because all that is time and time is money. This area right here, when you get to number two, prepare to be there a good three hours. That is brutality right there. I was there for three and a half. So then th this step right here where I'm walking you to, this is step number one. Go well, straight to the back, straight to the back and get yourself these papers. Now, what some people do is they'll grab these papers and they'll do what they tell you to do up here, which is to go sit to the right where you're going to see right now and fill out that, pa that paperwork. But I didn't do that. I went straight to the line, as you can see right there, and I filled out the papers as I was in line because I wanted to save time. There's a place to the right where you go fill out your papers. But no, I, I filled out the papers as I was there. That's step one. Then you go to step two, which is to validate your paperwork. They're gonna ask you about your hotel. You better make sure that your hotel is booked at least one week in advance. Otherwise, you're gonna do, you're gonna get rejected as the guy in front of me got rejected. And then you go here and that's where it's a living hell, sitting there waiting for your number to be called. The numbers are right there. Um, when I arrived, see there at 125, when I arrived, I don't know, I was like numbered 300 something. So it was hell. And then you go see immigration, you go in here and, um, after that is about an hour and a half. So some people sit there all day, just wait those six hours. That is insanity to me. I wouldn't do that. So what I'm going to show you guys is what I would do. You know, you go walk around, you're inside a big mall, albeit an old mall, but there's stuff to do. You know, why sit there and wait? Go have yourself a meal. Do what I did. Go and get yourself a massage. You know, I went and I got my massage. And then I ran back to see what number they were in. And when I ran back to see what number was all stressed out, there were still 125 numbers left to go. Which was like at least another hour and 40 minutes. So you have time. Don't feel that you don't. And then, so I kept walking. The, the massage place is right there to the right. You'll see it right now. There's also another massage place in a different floor. Um, there's also cafes that I'm about to show you. Um, and there's also a place to go get a haircut, which I did. After um, when I was in step three, um, I saw how slow the numbers were moving. Um, so I went and I got a haircut. And when I came back, there were still about 80 numbers away from me. So I could have, you know, done even more. What some people do, what one, what one guy did in Australia, he left. He left, I'm about to go to the bar, I'm going to leave this building, and then I'll take a taxi back because I already know how this works. City has done it multiple times for years. So he could do what that guy did, or he could do what these people do, or just hanging out there, connect your laptop, work on the laptop. If you're a remote worker, they, they will allow you to work at that cafe. All you got to do is buy yourself a coffee and so, you know, and you'll be there. Um, you can go down these stairs, you can go shopping, buy yourself some clothes. Uh, you can, you know, do a lot of things. Don't just sit there and, and be miserable. Some people, are, they, they'd rather just sit there and be miserable and complain the entire time. The time I was sitting there, there was nothing but people complaining next to me. So I had to move seats several times because I don't like that type of energy whatsoever. Because I'm like, dude, there's things to do. Stop complaining, you know, like 
put on your headphones, listen to some gospel music, listen to some worship music, whatever. Do what you got to do. That's the immigration office up there. You see? So you got all these floors right here that you can go shop, shop for your loved ones, shop for yourself. And at this mall, this mall here, you have bargain rates because this is an old mall. Uh, this is where usually um, the locals come. This is not the fanciful malls that you've seen in my other videos, like Central World and stuff, where everything is, oh, look, there's my haircut. See, I had gotten a haircut, and that's where I got the haircut right there. You know, at this point, I was already feeling pretty good because I knew that I was about to leave soon. Um, I had already passed uh, number three, which I was just waiting, waiting to see the immigration officer now. And yeah, that's that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Now you guys know how to do it when you get to the immigration in uh, Thailand, when you want to extend your visa. And I will link up the actual place that you have to go to. So save it on Google Maps and you'll, you'll be ready to extend your visa. Um, I would say either arrive super early or um, late, like after one. 